Hey everyone, it's one time double seven here to do another pay per view review. We've got two thousand and five up this time. We're just starting it off, trying to get some shit done here quickly. I've got like two two thousand and four pay per views to do. Got, I've already done two. I'm going to leave the other two for later. They're going to be terrible reviews. I might just put put them up with some star ratings. Not even talk about them. We'll see how I go. Um. Which the pay per view starts off with a world tag team championship match between Christian and, uh, with Christian and Tomko versus William Regal and Eugene. At the time, Eugene and William Regal had the titles. Um, the match was good. Uh, it ended with William Regal winning because very suddenly because Eugene got injured. I think he blew out his knee or something. Um. It wasn't good, though. It didn't look good, either. Um, but the match was actually not that bad. I've given it... Uh, I've given it a... What have I given it? I gave it a... Two and a half, I think? It was It was alright. It was... I'll be honest, it was a good, good opener. Um, not compared to the perfect opener of... Uh, uh, what was it Kurt Angle, Rey Mysterio from SummerSlam 2002? That's that perfect opener. Um, but yeah, it, it was all right. It was probably the second best match match of the night, which isn't saying much um, because this is a terrible pay per view. I'm just trying to find out how they won. Hold on a second. Um, what happened? Here we go. Here we go. Can we close? Um, Tomko rolls up uh, Eugene for the win after 12 and a half minutes. I've given it a two and a half. It's not bad, you know. The usual style of stuff. Um, it was an average work, really. The crowd was really into Eugene and booed the hills appropriately. Um, then we've got a WWE Women's Championship match between Lego and Trish. Um... Uh, they take um, Lita, Lita's knees hit the turnbuckle on a DDT and Trish gets the kick for three to become the new champ Lita pretty much tore her ACL like she fucked it and she was gone until March when she came back and was Edge's boyfriend and started the most awesome rivalry with Matt Hardy um, I gave the match a dud pretty much because nothing happened um Next, we've got an IC title match between Shelton Benjamin and Maven. So I thought this match was fucking stupid, to be honest. Maven was just trying to get over as a heel. Um, he's out there yelling at the crowd, going blah, blah, blah. I can't, I don't know what you're talking about, blah, 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 blah. Um, he ends up coming in and he gets rolled up by Shelton Benjamin. Uh... The match actually went for one minute, not six. Um, they went over some bilingual thing because, um, I don't know, I don't fucking care. Um, he then gets Shelton, uh, Maven then gets another match because he comes back and he gets T-Bone's quick, T-Bone's suplex, ASAP. Oh, God. Um, this is just, Maven, Maven really just gets to look like a jobber. Talks a lot about nothing else. He does nothing else after this. I never really understood the push burial booking. Uh, it's like, give a guy a push and a lot of exposure. And then bury him on pay-per-view like Taker did to DDP in 2001. Like Benoit did to Alona Jordan in 2005. Like DX did to the Spirit Squad. Like Cena did to Miz. And they just, they just did it to Maven. In this segment... Maven displayed more charisma than half of the current mid card. Um, he got what did they give? I gave it to Doug pretty much. Bullshit. Um, oh yeah, through the night they um showed chicks in bikinis, all the divas in bikinis, and um, that was all right. Like just quick thirty second clips of uh, Maria and uh, what was the other one? Um, the ring who won the diva search. I forgot. Oh well. Um. Then we've got Muhammad Hussan versus uh, Jarrett Waller. This is just... 
terrible. It was just one. Let's put let's let's put King in this match so the heel can get over and Jerry Lawler can get a nostalgic pop. Um, pretty much the end was Davari distracts his son and hits the downward spiral for the pin. I gave it oh my God, star and three quarters maybe star and three quarters. Yeah. The crowd was hot two uh, through two knee injuries and a little and little. And two title matches that were less than one minute apiece. But this was, but this piece of shit was too much for them. Um, we then move on to Kane versus Snitsky. Oh my god! Um, Kane hits the tombstone out of nowhere after the zombie sit up and wins after twelve minutes. I don't even want to talk about this match. It got given. A one and three quarter stars. Um, it was just oh, I don't I don't I don't even care. That was this this is just a shit pay per view. The main event sort of brings it back. I gave the main event a three and th three and three quarters. Many people give this four and uh, four and a half, but I just went with my Elimination Chamber DVD review, which you should check out. It's a good DVD. Um, this match ha was Shawn Michaels was a special guest ref referee and it had Triple H, Batista, Chris Benoit, Edge, Jericho and Randy Orton. Um, oh, where are we? Um, The first elimination was Jer Jericho eliminated. Jericho hits Lion's Salt on Edge, and he's eliminated. But it took two finishes for him after 20 minutes. Batista is the next in. Uh, next person taken out was Jericho. After uh, he takes. Uh, after he takes a spine bust from Batista onto Benoit, no, Benoit's eliminated. Then Jericho's gone after a Batista bomber and Demon Bomber, as we call it at the time. Then all we've got is Triple H, Orton, and Batista. Uh, Batista gets eliminated next after Orton counters the double low blow and an RKO later and. Uh, Batista's eliminated. Then Triple H wins when he hits the pedigree on um, Arkea, uh, the on uh, Randy Orton. Um, so this this storyline was going uh, sort of stale. Uh, I hated that Edge was eliminated first. It sort of just pushed him down a little bit, I guess. Um, it was the right storyline to finish, but not one of the in-house crowd wanted it. Uh, but what options do they have? What options do they really have? Orton's momentum was down by this point. They were setting up Batista's win at WrestleMania. I hate to say this, but but this is all the angle could have advanced. However, it is 40 minutes of perfectly built action, interesting storylines, and elimination that even the losers look strong. Um... Outside of some repetitiveness, uh, catapults, it's, like, it wasn't, it was, I'm just reading it here, I'm too tired to do this, this fucking bullshit pay-per-view, don't even watch it, don't look at it, I gave it four and a, four and a half, just because of the main event in the first match of the night, guys, I'm on Swanton007, comment, like, and subscribe, thank you.